Hello, sleepyheads. Tonight we have a miracle of sorts. I've never been able to find the Lost Dutchman's treasure, but I did stumble upon two, count them, two short stories from the Brothers Grimm, which were actually suitable for children. Will wonders never cease? The first, The Old Man and His Grandson. Once upon a time there lived a very old man who, in his youth, had been a tireless worker, a good and loyal husband, and an even better father. But sadly his wife had died, his eyesight dimmed, his hearing dulled, his knees trembled when he walked, and when he sat at the table he could hardly hold his spoon. Whatever broth he didn't spill upon the tablecloth seemed to dribble down his chin. His son and daughter-in-law were disgusted by him, so the old man was made to sit in the corner behind the stove, and there they gave him his food, never enough of it, in an earthenware bowl. He would look toward the table where they dined with their son, and his eyes would fill with tears. One day his trembling hands knocked the bowl to the ground and it broke. His son scolded him and afterward his food was tossed into an old wooden bowl, but still there wasn't enough for him to eat. The next day the son and his wife saw their four-year-old digging a hole in the ground. What are you doing? asked his father. This is where you and mother will eat when I am big, answered the child. The man and his wife looked at each other and began to cry. Then they went into the house, brought the old grandfather to the table, and from that day forth he always ate with them. They gave him more food than he could possibly eat at every meal, and they said nothing when he spilled and dribbled. Yay! A happy ending! I haven't found a Brothers Grimm tale about deadbeat dads yet, but if and when I do, it'll be Mothers Grimmed and available on my blog and YouTube channel. And our second story of the night, The Peasant in Heaven. Once upon a time, a poor peasant died and found himself at the gates of heaven at exactly the same moment a rich lord arrived. St. Peter opened the gates and let the prosperous man enter, but apparently he did not see the peasant and shut the gate again. The peasant heard the wealthy man being received with great rejoicing and choirs of angels, but at length all was quiet again, and St. Peter returned and opened the gate for the poor peasant. The peasant was expecting similar treatment, but all was quiet as he entered. He was received with great love and affection, and the angels did come to meet him, but they did not sing. The peasant asked St. Peter, Why was there no rejoicing when I arrived? Such a fuss was made over the rich man, it seems to me there is just as much inequality in heaven as on earth. Oh no, said St. Peter, you are as dear to us as anyone else. We are happy to see you and you will enjoy every heavenly delight that the rich man enjoys. But poor fellows like yourself come to heaven every day. A rich man does not come more than once in a thousand years. <laughs> so this story had to have been written in the 1700s or earlier. Plus ça change, babies. Plus ça change. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.